Hi, Libra. I'm doing something different. I'm going through all the signs and I'm going to post them all at once. I'm going to do a nice, you know, even one video per sign. And I'm going to try this out, see how it goes. So thank you for joining me, Libra. I'm going to do a reading for April 27th ish and or it's for the week and or whenever this comes to you. Sun, moon, rising, uh, whatever filter you like. Um, you can look through your Venus and your Mars as well. Um, but I ask that you listen to you with what answer you are looking for. You know, you can look outside yourself and ask the questions, but you have to be perceptive from in here on what you see. So see where the wave and the bells and the chimes and the symbols and the signs take you, Libra. Where does it take you in your own psychic sense? Where does the Holy Spirit, God, love, your angels of love and light and your spirit guides or whatever it is, your fairies, you know, whatever, whatever works for you that brings you the lessons to drive you forth to be better and to bring everybody else up with you to be better, to have more love, more clarity. So let's see what Libra needs to know. What do I have? This is the art of life tarot deck it is new i really like it i really really like it um where did i put the thing so the the art of life is by charlene livingstone all right one card libra highest greatest good everybody got the chariot libra i like this card a lot all right i'm gonna put this down i'm gonna look at it i'm gonna pull from here so what do we have for libra highest greatest now just so you know i didn't say this and i don't feel like having to say it in every video so you're the only video so far i've said this in but in between all the videos when i'm doing the uploading and putting them on i make sure i shuffle and clear and pray and do everything over these decks to make sure it's clear each time and i've gotten some repeats on some signs so it's always weird when that happens it kind of makes me think that those signs are dealing with each other but nobody got the chariot libra you got the chariot do not go where the path may lead libra go instead where there is no path and leave a trail i mean i kind of want to say that like a little bit of attitude in a nutshell for you and that's ralph waldo emerson Okay, and this picture is the balloon detail by Paul Sinzeli Merci, 1878 Hungarian National Gallery, Budapest, Hungary. It's like a big beach ball, you know? What's your mode of transportation? Who's driving your chariot? Is your chariot coming to you? Is this your victory coming to you? The big picture you finally see? Or are you getting in that basket, packing a picnic, bringing somebody awesome, and bobbing your way to your new life of glory above the clouds? I love this picture. It's so gorgeous. All right, Libra, let's get one more on this deck. This is the uh, Native American tarot. Do I have the thing here for you? Yes. And it's... Uh, by Magna and J.A. Gonzalez. All right. I, I haven't looked in the book at all. Um, other than to figure out what the hatchets meant. Which I can't remember now. What do they mean? They're called blades. So this, this has, instead of like cups, swords, whatever. This is blades, pipes, vessels, and shields. Blades are also spades, are also swords, are also air, are also spirit, east, spring, and dawn, 
I feel like I should read this for you, so I'm going to. Pipes are clubs, wands, fire, intellect, south, summer, and noon. Vessels, hearts, cups, water, emotions, west, autumn, and dusk. And then you have shields, diamonds, coins, earth, material, north, winter, and night. I've also seen that as stones in the, uh, in this one, the handle. All right, so one card, Libra, from the Native American Terra for this week. Bring more clarity to this chariot. What is this chariot all about? Where are they blazing a new trail through? Or what kind of trail is being blazed towards Libra? Highest, greatest good. Everybody involved. Bring more clarity. Understanding of love. You have the chief of vessels. Oh, you have a fiery type of chariot, don't you? All right, let's do one more. This is the Toth deck. Highest, greatest good. Everybody involved. What? Can bring more clarity to the chief of vessels and the chariot for Libra. I mean, Libra, either you have a fiery energy about you that's driving this chariot, or you have a fiery engine as your motor pushing your chariot along, or you've got a fiery chariot coming towards you. Let's see, Libra, what do we need to know? Bring me and Libra. Ooh, he's jumped. They jump together. It's five disappointment, which I just got for Virgo. And then the Queen of Discs. So let's see. I'm going to do something different for you, Libra. I'm going to pull from the Oracle deck now instead of at the end. Because now I have two different characters and they're both looking different directions. So I just want to bring more clarity for you. I'm just going to go with it. So more clarity for the Chariot and the Chief of Vessels. I feel like this is two separate directions for you, Libra. So let's see. It's like you were looking back at disappointment and that's driving you to your victory. Your disappointment is why you turned around. And instead of taking the long, hard path, this is the immediate thing I'm getting without this. Let's see what this says. But you were looking at like a spilled milk before. You weren't looking at what you had that was bringing you abundance. And you were kind of walking maybe down the wrong path a little bit, Libra. Or maybe somebody you knew was walking very slowly down a path of disappointment not fast just kind of a little bit here and there even though they had growth it was almost like maybe what is that like two steps forward three steps back but something has changed there's a fiery energy now so maybe the two of these people maybe you or have like a, a Virgo Capricorn uh, Taurus energy around you is a feminine sign and maybe like a Sagittarius Leo and um, I can't even think of the name of this. Sagittarius that one wants to come Leo and I am blanking on the other fire sign when my brain goes into this I'm sorry I'm just gonna just it happens whatever fire signs fiery energy um getting in your boat and you're going upstream or you're going downstream you're going a different direction whatever the direction was before it's like you were grounded on the earth because of whatever disappointment you had Libra whatever disappointment came in grounded your ass you do take a couple steps in the ground take a walk grow some horns <laughs> like look at this you got some 
badass horns and it's like you're almost like an ant I, I see this like like she's she's bigger than life and she's small it's like also like honey I shrunk the kids and there's these big ass grass blades above her you see but like it's a feminine energy the horns grow she has strength she has the flower of life instead of a globe on her She's grounded in the earth and she has a wand with this like crystal wand to create. And it's like this desert here. So it's like she sees this desert, but she creates this growth. But she can't do it really fast. She has to create. She creates this growth by imagining it first and then putting her feet on the ground and making it stable. And then planting the seeds and singing to her plants. And, you know, sitting in them and having a picnic and being grounded. So maybe you were slowly going towards something and you're disappointed about, I don't know, maybe you had some weird picnics along the way. And maybe you're waiting for the chief of vessels to come. You're waiting for this chariot. I feel like either, let's do one more card. Libra. All right, what do we have? message in a bottle and the thinker yeah so I feel like this is maybe this is you maybe this is duality in yourself Libra you have 44 it's a master number look at the number 44 look that up and see what that means 44 8 that's an 8 so it's like it's like the infinity things go around in cycles and they come back around you, you know this guy has let me look at this he's got like he's like He's got like a turban on. He's like hanging out. Before I totally thought he was being pushed, but I guess he has his own he has his own paddle. I didn't see that before. He's like sitting there, like doing a pose in his little canoe, and he's got like a badass guy in a moha mohawk and like this sexy outfit, like totally pushing pushing him along his way. So you're in good company. And you you're not afraid to stand out and like rock the waves a little bit you can feel the you can feel the the movement let's see libra maybe you're 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 you've been feeling like things have been going too slow for you and either you're thinking about making you're thinking too much and you're thinking about doing like making a move and getting this hot air balloon and just I mean don't go where the path may lead go instead where there's no path and leave a trail and then you have this girl here and she's looking at this desert and she's creating this abundance around her where she is right now the, the chariot isn't later it's now so is this you thinking? Are you thinking too much? Look at this beautiful ballerina and she should be up dancing. She's like thinking about her dance number, thinking about how she fell, thinking about being nervous about her performance. She's on the stage, this box, this, you know, platform. And she's beautiful and feminine and she's in this masculine environment. Her stars are falling, but she has a beautiful face of like peacefulness of honor. It's like she's dreaming, thinker. So what are you thinking about? Where you're going to go? The stability? What you're going to grow? Maybe this guy has the message in a bottle. You know, you have him like coming along. Or maybe you need to be like him. There's a telephone inside a bottle here. With a starfish sucking on the side. A pelican He's not looking through the binocular or the, the monocular like he should, but he's got it under his wing. There's coral down here. And there's hearts and stars in the bottle that's just locked away. What message is in this bottle for you, Libra? Are you thinking about what to type, who to call, who to contact, where it's going? Or is this on its way to you? I'm sort of, sort of curious. You have, this is, this is your win. This is you in your hot air balloon going to exactly where you want to go. Maybe it's with him. Maybe you're thinking about it. Maybe the message is coming. I hope this helped you. I love you. I'll see you soon.